Good morning, guys. Welcome to Trade Confident. It has been a really awesome week here. We've hit so many buy limits. We're in a lot of trades right now. Uh, let's just dump, dump in. Let's just jump in. <laughs> let's not do that. Okay. Currently, you guys know we are 79 for 79 wins on this channel here. Uh, we have never lost a trade on this, this, this channel ever. Um, but what we are in right now is a bunch of trades, which... I wouldn't doubt, guys, if we start seeing this breakdown of the support line right here, which I'm going to talk to you guys about, we hit more buy limits, and then we start seeing demand take over and prices jump back up, we are going to start winning a lot of trades back to back very quickly because our buy limits are going to get hit. And then if we see a pump back up in the market, we're going to start making some profits. It is so important if you guys don't get anything else from this video is to get your buy limits set up for these coins. Okay, let's go to the analysis. What I'm looking at in here, I'm going to go deep into the analysis, guys. We're going to pull out the, the dominance. We're going to do a lot of stuff in here. So here's what I'm looking at. This is the most crucial line that you guys should be looking at, in my opinion. It is this ascending support line that has literally been hit down here one, you know, two, three, four times. You know, someone can argue like this is maybe, a, 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 it's not an official touch, but it is a bounce off of this trend line. You can call it maybe three or four times. It is a very, very strong ascending support line. And what I'm really watching for guys over this weekend is a breakdown to about $4,400. That will be an official break below the ascending support line, which could start pushing us down. Now, I want you guys to be watching very carefully over the weekend, the price versus the well money flow and the trend exhaustion. Here is why. This has been literally calling the tops and the bottoms almost every single time on this move up. If you guys watch when we pushed up into the top section here, we also pushed in the top section over here. This is when we got to the top and then we started seeing this nice fast move back down. The moment that we got into the top red section over here, like the moment was the moment where Ethereum did not head any higher and then we immediately saw a drop back down. The previous time before that, it perfectly called the top over here, trapping everybody moving up and then we started to see a move back down. Previous time before that, perfectly called the high here and then we saw this move back down on the charts. I'm not going to do this like over and over and over, but I want to show you guys just a little bit of the accuracy of how ridiculous this indicator is at calling this. And how do you use this with the other indicator, the well money flow? What you want to do is you want to watch for correlations. And so let's watch this. I'm just going to pull two more here and that's it. And then I want to get into something else I want to show you guys here. It is just so important that you guys know how to have the right indicators on your charts. We do not use the RSI stochastic or MACD. That, that's not it. These are the best ones you guys can have. Here's what I watch for. When we start pushing in the top red section here, even if we look at where it initially starts in the top red, which is over here with this accumulation phase up, I am not and we are not ever going to be FOMOing into the price because I know when this happens, literally every single time in the market, and I come back over here and I can show you guys these moves down right here. I can show you this move down on the chart right there, as well as this move down right there, as well as this move down right here, correlated to the top here, the top there, the top there, and the top there. Literally every single time you guys see this move in the top red section, Ethereum and the cryptos are seeing a move down very shortly after. And then once we do head down, when we are in the bottom red section, we are seeing the price move back up there. It's like the price cannot go any lower and we start bouncing back up. I'm going to pull this all together. So watch this. When we saw this happen and we started moving back down here, this is where we saw the flash crash back down. It could not handle it any further because we hit the bottom red section. Well, money flows at the bottom and we started to pump back up. Okay, now where are we sitting right now? What we're sitting is basically right in the middle of the well money flow and right in the middle of the trend exhaustion. So over the weekend, here's what I'm watching for. If over the weekend we can see this thing push down to the bottom red zone, this is probably not gonna be what you guys think I'm gonna say, but I want you guys to watch this. If this breaks to the bottom red zone, we're most likely gonna have a breakdown. Now, this does not necessarily mean that we are gonna shoot back up like we have in the past. If you guys look at what happens when we get closer to the bottom red section here, we are seeing nice moves back up in the market. You guys, guys can obviously see this. That is calling this move here. This is calling this move on the chart here. This called that move, and we clearly saw it calling this move in the chart there. And, uh, and you know, if this isn't obvious, like, you know, as this move down here, this was a clear sign that we we're gonna start moving back up. Even calls the bottoms before that happens. Guys, people making thousands of dollars off these indicators. These are on our Black Friday sale. They're in the description. I would not miss them. Okay, watch this. When this is pushing down here, what I'm looking for is not necessarily a huge bounce back up, but 
I'm looking for this bounce back up for a break and a retest of the ascending support, which will eventually become ascending resistance once we break this. If over the weekend this happens, what will usually happen is a break, a retest, and we could actually start dropping down. I know it seems like a long shot, but it is a target I've been talking about on this video for a while. We could drop down close to $3,600. Now let me show you guys something else on the chart that I'm looking at. If you guys simply come over here and you look at the next stronger, strongest structure support, port, it is sitting at $4,000, okay? Have no doubts whatsoever. If this thing breaks down, it is a definite possibility we're going to come down here. The, the opposite would be we just keep heading up and we keep heading up. I absolutely think we can hit $4,000 in here easy. Now, watch this. Let's pull out a Fibonacci retracement. If we take the top to the low of the trend here, we also have a 50% retracement that is stuck right here at the bottom perfectly associated with the ascending support line on the larger channel. Do you guys see that? Here's a one touch, here's a two touch, and this is would technically be considered like a three touch, right at the 50% Fibonacci retracement. Our buy limits are set up perfectly to capture this drop in here, and it is very important that you guys set this up for Ethereum today. Okay, let's go a little bit deeper. Now, let's go over here. You guys need to click the plus sign up here, and then you're gonna put in ETH.D. We're gonna look at the dominance of Ethereum. I'm gonna show you guys why I still expect to see a move back down using the dominance. Not only the indicators and all the patterns, like indicators, patterns, and dominance are all calling a drop in here. So if you're not looking at a drop, the, the, you might be caught off guard here. And I'll show you guys how it's trapping a bunch of people right now. Look at this. You take a look at the dominance on the chart. Let me just pull this over like this so we can see this. Okay. Watch this. When we pushed up in the top section here before, see, you guys look at this where the dominance has been and where it's been acting up. Look at the um, horizontal dotted line. Look at where the peaks are in the past. We can see a peak right here, a peak there, a peak here, peak, peak. All right. When dominance has reached this percentage in the past, what have we seen? We have actually seen this correlate to very nice, like big drops back down on the market. When we got up over here, this con basically consolidated, but we saw a little bit of a drop. Okay. Maybe not the biggest drop though. Look at this over here. This said we were pushing up too high. We saw a very nice drop back down. And then obviously this move over here, back when we were at this level, we saw a huge crash back down. So we're looking at these areas of dominance. We have one, two, three, four points of dominance. And we now have this over here, which technically is very close to where we were over here, which is an overextension in the market. And I do think this is correlated to a possible drop back down, which is going to be a healthy higher low in this overall uptrend of Ethereum. So this is why I've been very bearish on this. Now, I'm gonna go over the metrics here and I'll teach you guys how to get into these trades here in, in like two minutes here so you do not miss another win because it's so important that you guys trade over here. No one that's ever, nobody that's ever joined our channel has ever lost a trade in crypto. It, it's very nice and, and you guys wanna stick around for that. I'll tell you that in a second. Okay, watch this. What this has done is it has trapped an incredible amount of people in long trades. It has been one of the greatest bull traps I've ever seen and I was calling this out on, on email for you guys that you know, who messaged me about this. If this plays out, this is gonna probably crash very hard and listen carefully of why. What we saw was a lot of people ended up fumbling into this move up here. Why? Because we we're pushing up to all time highs, great. We also saw a lot of people pushing up into this candle right here all putting long trades in, okay? Then what happened was, is a lot of people got into the market down here, they started riding up, they started buying a little bit down here, and then people thought this was gonna keep going up and so they bought here. These are the areas of, um, I, I, don't, I don't know if there's actually a technical word for this, but accumulation of longs, I guess we can call it. If the, since this did not come back up here, we have a ton of people who have long trades right here and a lot of people have long trades right here who are still holding in the loss. And we have people over here that have long trades holding in loss. We have not entered a trade yet. This is why. Watch this. If this breaks down, does a break and retest, and then it actually breaks this point right here, this is a huge technical sign that a lot of these guys up here are going to just get scared that this is going to start heading down further. They are going to sell their positions most likely to look for a better entry. They're going to try to sell their position to look for a better entry because it's going down, mitigate their losses, which everybody who has sell stops down here, 
looking to take the breakout is going to be putting sell pressure in the market. People who bought up here are going to be selling their position, expecting this to go down further, and it's going to keep dropping it and dropping it and dropping it. That is why our buy limit has been sitting down here for a while, and our next one is down here, and we have a next one and a next one, you know, way down here, because we are being patient for this. I know what's happening in the minds of the people who have gotten into this trade up here. They are stuck here, and they are not in the profit. If this thing crashes below here, they are either stuck holding the bag, or they're going to freak out, and they're going to sell. And that's going to push this down even faster and further. So watch that. Okay, let's go over this now. It's very interesting if you guys understand the, the psychological thoughts behind this. Okay, Ethereum metrics. Give me a second, guys. I'm just going to drink some water. <laughs> okay, this is going to update at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time every single morning. I'll go over how to get into these trades so you guys do not miss another win that we call over here. Okay, we are sitting up and we have been sitting in this this um, emotional excited stage for quite a while. Why? Because Ethereum just keeps going up. And I know I've been like this broken record saying, guys, we are not entering in. We're not entering in. Even people who, guys, even people who bought over here, or even if they bought over here and we were patient and we didn't get in, these guys, uh, these guys right here are currently in, in a, basically a break even right now. It could possibly be in a loss if we come down here. If we break down here, these guys are going to be held in a loss if they haven't exited yet. And then if we come down here, what's going to happen is all of these people, all of these people here who got into the market, they're going to be holding into a loss. And they could, that could actually end up adding to the selling pressure if we start moving down here. I'll, I'll make another argument if we go up here because I want to cover both sides. It's, it's wisdom to look at both sides, not just, you know, a side that you think, you, you, not, not the side that you want it to go. Just hold on. I'll, I'll share that. I promise. Okay, looking in here. The Ethereum long versus short trades. This has not stopped increasing bearish momentum. Short trades are increasing, they're increasing, they're increasing. We are almost at the same place we were last time when we saw the crash back down. Okay, if you guys are watching this, this is where we had the last crash. It was over here, and this was not a small crash. This took a little while for you to get back into break even. Again, same thing I'm teaching you guys over here. It trapped an incredible, an incredible amount of traders over here that didn't get into the profit until we hit this candle wick over here. And I guarantee you guys, they were trying to hold in here to get into a little bit more profit. If these guys didn't sell yet, and then this thing starts heading down even further, these guys might actually be on the chopping block and they might look to sell as well, pushing this down even further. You need to look in the past of what people are doing and the emotions behind the charts of where people are actually literally putting positions in the market. And these are where, these are like hot spots. And I understand these because I've taught this before and I, I, you can see this on the charts, like look for the big green candles. Even institutions are, could actually be getting um, bull trapped on this, okay? It, people with larger money that don't know how to trade this. Now let's move down here. Long for short trade risk. This has just been sitting in here with good uh, short trade. It has not gotten anywhere pushing to the good long trade. If it ever gets down to good long trade, guys, you are going to, I promise you guys, you will see us buying on this channel. We pump up here. We pumped up there. We pumped up here greatly. We are being patient and waiting for the drop. Wells and institutions, probably the smartest people in the market here, they are not placing any long trades. Look at this. I know there's a lot of people who got out here and placed long trades. Why? Because we have green candles in here. That's very obvious. So people are placing long trades trades in here, but I, th I really do believe the smartest thing to do is to actually do what Wells and Institutions are doing. The only time they placed a long trade was over here where they made a ridiculous amount of money on the move up here and they bought the higher low. Everything else has been accumulating short trades in the market here looking for this move back down. All we need is a break of this ascending support line and this thing comes crashing down and everybody's in the profit who is shorted and everyone who's gone long is probably going to get scared and they're going to sell their position and crash this thing even faster. That is why we are not marketing into this order, we are gonna wait for the buy limit to get hit. Okay, real quick, we're gonna go over this and let's go over the entries. So, um, and I'll go over profits. <laughs> we have such good testimonials this week, it's kind of crazy, so I'll go over that too. I'm um, looking at this, guys, 4,030 is the next area of structure support where I'm definitely looking at on the chart. That's right around this area, 4,030. It's this structure over here. So I'm definitely watching this very strongly as a place we could head down to. Guys, I, I injected another $10,000 into the account. Yes, we are down a little bit more this morning, so I want to make this clear. I think we're probably down like 700 or something like that. Uh, anyways, it doesn't matter. The reason why I injected this, yeah, perfect, 744. The reason why I'm down... I. I uh, excuse me, not down. The reason why I injected $10,000 in here is I'm expecting this drop and I'm looking to get picked up on a lot of other coins in here to buy this dip. Again, it's not the time for retail traders like a lot of people are doing to buy into this thinking it's going to the moon. I really do believe this could be moving back down. Dollar cost average entries. I have actually updated this metric. This has more lines than it did on the last Ethereum video. So I've updated for um, ADA, Doge, 
and Ethereum. So you guys will see this be a little bit more aggressive. The reason why is because if we drop back down, I want you guys to get a little bit more signals on here so you guys can get some dollar cost average entries, incredible entries here for you guys to just play some trades in here for the long run, hold for five to 10 years. And then down here, looking for the exit point. We haven't got it yet, but I'm looking for this to come out and give us an exit. Okay, let's get you guys into some trades. Here's how we're making the money. This is the most fun part of the video. The membership is literally only $49 a month. It is the cheapest you guys will get for this price. I am gonna be looking to up the price of this. Um, it could be happening around the beginning of the year. I don't have a specific date. Here's the point of saying all this. I will grandfather you guys in if and when we do up this to help pay business expenses because we're growing so fast. You guys will not have to pay the higher price if you get in now, okay? It'll just be $49 forever. Now, take a look at this. Once you guys have this, this will give you guys access to all the metrics that I just went over for all 10 of these coins that we trade. This is where you guys, it starts getting really fun. Come over here and click on live trades. Now, I know right now we're going over Ethereum, so you guys wanna set up your buy limits for Ethereum. We could be crashing over the weekend, okay? What you're gonna do is click into any of these coins. It's gonna look exactly like this. I'm gonna use Bitcoin for an example. This is the simplest chart you guys will ever use to trade. And this is how we have won every single one of our 79 wins over here. All of them have been placed with these exact same charts on this one single website page. All of them. Okay. Here's what you guys are going to do. We're just, I'm going to read it out to you so you can just follow along. It is so simple. Watch up here. Um, at 11, um, 12, which is obviously yesterday. Today is 11, excuse me, 11, 11 was yesterday. Today is 11, 12. This will update and it will basically show you guys all the, the buy limits for today that have been updated. Okay. To enter this trade, this is all you guys are going to do. Simply take the amount of cash that you would like to allocate to this trade. Let's say it's a thousand dollars. doesn't matter. It could be $4,000. Split your thousand dollars into four equal portions, $250 dollars. place $250 dollars at each of the four buy limits labeled above. Okay. Got a thousand bucks. Great. What you guys are going to do is place four buy limits at this price, this price, this price, and this price. You're simply going to wait for the first buy limit to get hit. And then once your first buy limit is hit, set up the sell limit shown in green. So once your first buy limit is hit, you guys are going to simply set your sell limit up here. That is it. Once you guys have this set up in your exchange for as many coins as you want, you need to come down and you need to add yourself to the Telegram channel. This is the hot link right here. Don't forget to join the Telegram channel here. Click right there. You, I'll be calling trade exits here with our indicators on the trades that we're in. So you guys need to click this. This will open up a hot link on the website and it will actually let you guys join over here into the membership for free once you guys get in here because it's part of the membership, all right? Once you guys do that, you really need to get the indicators over here because I'm using them to call exits and this is how you guys can monitor the pumps and the dumps on the coins once we're in a trade. This is the Black Friday special and I wanna let you guys know this. These prices will never be lower than this again. Okay, they will never be lower than this again. At minimum, I highly recommend you guys at least get the price versus the well money flow, the trend dashboard, and the trend exhaustion. Getting these three indicators for 60% off, it's literally a few more bucks, and you guys should just come up here and get the bundle pack. Now, here's the thing with this. You guys want to want to listen here. You guys are getting this bundle pack at 83% off, but this is also going to appreciate in value because it's going to go up $50 at the end of this month. So it's like buying a piece of real estate that is going to increase in value, also help you guys make money over here in trades, and this is how we have not lost a single trade yet. The indicators, the metrics, as well as the risk management, guys. All this pulled together is such an amazing deal, and you guys actually do get the... Um, the source codes to all the indicators over here. So if for some reason I go out of business, I don't ever see that happening, by the way. If for some reason that happens, you guys will actually get access to the source codes so nobody can take these indicators away from you ever. I promise, you guys literally get the source code. So that's what I wanna say. It is the Black Friday sale that's going on. These are sold separately from the membership, so make sure you guys get that. With the difference of this being $50 cheaper, you guys basically get the first month free for your membership if you guys wanna do that. So that's what I've got for you guys. Watch the other videos. I'm gonna come out with a Bitcoin video today. I'm gonna come out with a Dogecoin video right after this. This is gonna be an exciting weekend to watch, but the biggest thing I gotta tell you guys, if you guys are like, man, I wanna take advantage of these wins, I wanna start winning trades, it is to get your buy limits set up for this crash back down. Now, if we head back up, I really believe, because I told you I was gonna cover this, I do believe what we'll do is we'll start to ping pong back and forth and we will respect this ascending uh, resistance on the chart. We have this touch here, we have this touch over here. If it does head back up, I do not see this heading up any higher than about $5,000. 
I think it's actually gonna stall out at this area right here. And what we could do is just start building this pattern right here until we create an incredible amount of pressure. And then this thing really drops back down, trapping everybody who bought up here. We already have an incredible amount of people who got trapped already. With the dominance, this is looking like we are due for a move back down, okay? Let's just watch this. Also, the this is gonna be, if you guys, you guys can end this video right now if you want. I'm just gonna give you a little bit more if you wanna stick around for this. I am monitoring the S&P 500 as well right now with VUG, probably one of the best ETFs you guys can get into. I'm not, don't, I, I, I wanna say this respectfully guys, don't email me about this. I, I'm not gonna offer support for it. I'm, I'm just doing my own analysis over here. We are crypto only, but I'm watching the stock market right now and I'm watching this line on here. If we start moving down very quickly, we could see people in the stock market and the market as a whole start selling off. I want to see, because we are at a crucial point right near for, right now for the S&P 500. The VUG tracks the S&P 500. Um, it's just the Vanguard fund. But when the, if this thing breaks down here, this could actually start pushing the market down even further. This is showing a very good entry, by the way, down here. So I'm watching the overall markets now with VUG and, and QQQ. I'm not even going to go into that. But I'm, I'm looking for, like, we could actually see the overall markets, like overall markets, starting to see a big crash here all at the same time. So it's very important you guys set up your buy limits to get in. Again, set your buy limits up. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you. Um, sorry I didn't show you too many profits in here, but this guy, real quick, he made $12,800 in profit last week from Solana using our indicator and metrics. This guy made $1,919 since he's joined and he's won every single trade. Yes, everybody who's ever joined our channel, they've won every trade they've ever taken. That's not bad. $1,900. This guy down here made $500 on ADA. Um, not much. Appreciate the support. <laughs> hey, I think $500 is a lot more than a lot of people are making. So great job, man. Um, this guy down here says got out of ADA trade with a $1,300 win. So happy. Set up the new ADA and SOL buy limits. Great job. He's probably actually um, got tied into the second one. So that's really good. Um, made 60% returns on my capital in one month. It's been amazing. Awesome, man. I'm, I'm super excited about that. This guy down here already made 4k off of Cardano watching your videos and using your methods. Awesome, man. Congrats, guys. You're doing amazing. This guy down here did $2,300 with the trend exhaustion and the price versus well money flow. Get the indicators. They are going up. God bless you guys so much. Have a good weekend. Get the indicators. Get the membership. Do not miss setting up buy limits, and I will keep you guys covered, and make sure you guys are joining the Telegram channel so you guys can take advantage of all the calls I'm making over here. Let's do this, guys. God bless you. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.